In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find and use the WordPress codex so you can solve pretty much any WordPress problem you encounter on your own. You can even use the forums there and interact with a lot of other WordPress users who may have encountered the same problem. Might even be a solution to it there already. You just have to check there and find out. And we're getting started right now. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your customers. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture and find the WordPress codex. I'll see you there. To get to the WordPress codex, go to wordpress.org, hover over support, and click on documentation. Now this is where the codex lives, and the codex is basically a wiki that documents everything about WordPress. Almost everything to do with how WordPress functions, how you can edit stuff, how you can do advanced things, build themes, build plugins, use WordPress for everyday life, exists in this codex. Almost all of the content you see online about how to do special things, even on my channel, how to do special things with WordPress, that is all based on information that already exists in the codex. It's just that the codex is not very user-friendly. It doesn't walk you through stuff. It's a lot of high level, more technical type things. So it's not often where beginners hang out, but all the information about WordPress exists here. And you can click through any of these links. For example, let's see, theme development. Who doesn't love that? There's a lot of information. And that was one of the main links, theme development, but then we have the contents links over here on the right-hand side. And as you can see, there are quite a number of them. And even within those, there's often more links for more information because theming is not a small topic. If we go back to the main area, we have working with themes, writing a plugin, learn how to use WordPress. This is everything you need to know. It's not user friendly, like I said, it's more technical. So people who are more comfortable with technical stuff will love it in here, but there's amazing material. There's also a place where you can actually communicate with other WordPress users if you need more personalized help. Go to support up here and then go to forums and then scroll down the page. There is a forum for installing WordPress, fixing WordPress, developing with WordPress. All these categories have their own forums. So let's just go to fixing WordPress. Click on view forum. And here we have a forum. There are 38,914 pages of this length with information about fixing WordPress. So there's quite a lot. You can click on here to get to the most popular topics, which might be ongoing issues that are currently affecting WordPress users as a whole. But either way, there's a lot of information here. And the great thing is you can search them. So if you have a specific problem on your site, you can search it here. There's not gonna be any video tutorials like we have on YouTube or anything like that, but there might be some obscure problem that on YouTube, it's not really worth making a full-fledged tutorial for that problem that's really, really rare, but there might be a forum thread dedicated to it in here. This is a great place to get help if you need it. You do have to create a free account to actually comment and interact, but to read through these things, you can be just a, an anonymous user who's scrolling around and is reading through them, but if you want to comment and reply and interact with it, you do have to create a free account. To create an account, just click on logged in, under, this is underneath pretty much any topic that you view. There's also register and login up at the top right. And that's a little off topics. So this isn't the WordPress codex, but this is where you get help from other WordPress users. WordPress isn't a giant company that has a support team like say Microsoft or Google or Apple. They are just a bunch of people who write code open source. So there's really no time for support from actual developers, although the developers do pop into the forums quite a lot. You kind of have to help yourself through here, or through YouTube, through various sources. But the codex and the forums are a great source for help if you need help. Also, the comments below my videos are a pretty good source too. So if you have any problems, leave a comment. So that's the basics to finding and using the WordPress codex. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, click on one of these videos on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.